Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our crypto spiritual energy update. My name is Yona Brindis. I'm airing live from Florida. So please use this opportunity here uh, for our live broadcast to ask questions. Let me know where you're watching from. Most of you seem to be watching the edited version here on YouTube. Anyway, um, thank you for coming. Thank you for spending your time with me and how collective energies translate into the financial markets or the cryptocurrency market to be uh, precise. Yes, and I just finished the uh, energy update here live on YouTube for the collective energies for the next week, uh, 23rd to 29th of March, 2018. And um, if you guys are like me, a sort of a little woo-woo and a little technical, then uh, you'll find the right mixture here. So um, my job, um, besides um, having a, a extensive uh, work experience as an IT management consultant and uh, an energy worker for the last uh, 10 years here uh, at Transcodes, is to bring these two together. All right. And today I want to talk to you about, of course, some of the things that have been happening in the last week, but also how these collective energies that I pick up in the energy coaching and energy training work here at Transcodes, how I can see this translate into the cryptocurrency market. And uh, I know we all want the crystal ball of uh, predictions, which I cannot provide to you. But uh, what I can show you here is a correlation, not a causation, but a correlation. So what you are looking at uh, here on the screen, this uh, uh, crypto spiritual barometer, is something that I have been using successfully here the last months, uh, since last year, uh, to come up with forecasts based on uh, the uh, collective emotional sentiment. This is something I work with every day here at Transcodes with people from all over the world. And uh, this is something uh, that uh, I now uh, 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 refine or have refined to a point where I, I ha actually have to say I hate being right. Okay, so uh, a lot of the things that we see here as um, energy workers, you know, that are bothering people uh, physically, emotionally, mentally, in their relationships, spiritually, or energetically. Uh, and uh, once more, just for those of you who are new to this kind of energy report, uh, these predictions, these forecasts come uh, 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 from collective data working with energetically sensitive, visionary, and precognitive people. So uh, uh, these, how these energies translate into uh, the cryptocurrency market is actually actually beyond interesting and uh, it's uh, been pretty accurate so far. So last week, even though at the time of the energy um, report here, uh, it, everybody was expecting a bull run uh, in uh, the cryptocurrency market and uh, I was bold enough to say, look guys, this is a time of very, very high volatility. I don't think this is going to happen. Not to be negative, you guys know this about me. Uh, I'm uh, one of the hodlers and uh, drummers for, uh, you know, uh, seeing the potential uh, in the cryptocurrency sphere. But I'm also working with a lot of people and I've, you know, helped a lot of people to open themselves up. You know, I do uh, cryptocurrency beginners courses, you know, I do uh, uh, do's and don'ts. And I um, uh, even give um, uh, abundance coaching. Uh, for people, which is not the same as financial advice, but uh, based on the data that I can collect here, I can see very clear trends. And so I'm, uh, of course, a fan of uh, research tools, which I uh, frequently publish here in the Facebook, the Crypto Spiritual Facebook group, as well as uh, in the uh, description text here of this video. So uh, as some of uh, which uh, I've come across a very, very cool new research tool, and I want to share this with you. It's a so-called heat map. Um, uh, let me uh, put this on the screen for you guys. It's very, very cool. Uh, and what it does is it shows you all the coins and all the tokens um, based on the, the selection that you can do, like the performance in the last 15 minutes or day or year. 
And um, I want to uh, have a look at this and why I like this so much. Okay, this is the performance here for today. And if you uh, click on the, the, the short symbol for the, the tokens, you get a little more info there. Um, and you can change the, the, the performance, like say the last 15 minutes here, um, how this uh, uh, looks. And uh, to me, uh, as a researcher here uh, in regards to the human nature, it represents a very beautiful uh, picture. I'm very visual, as most visionaries are, and so these kind of things like really help me to tune into energy. So if I look at the performance of the last seven days, which would be the last week, we see a very mixed picture, almost like a not changed picture. Uh, but what happened in the last week was uh, an onslaught of news, an onslaught of FUD, an onslaught of um, positive news as well. And then, so it went back and forth and back and forth. And we're still a bit in a slump. We've lost, you know, almost um, well, more than half of the market capitalization since January. And there still isn't enough stimulation for, um, say, noobs, you know, for people who are new to the cryptocurrency sphere uh, to get uh, motivated or to overcome their fears. Um, but for those of you who are negative about the cryptocurrency sphere, um, I want to use this tool to show you the one-year performance. This is something we forget sometimes when we look at the volatility of the ongoing markets. We forget how much money was already being made and how much development has taken place here. This is the, the return of investment for the biggest, you know, based on the market volume, uh, coins or currencies here within the last 12 months. This was when uh, I pretty much uh, uh, recommended all of you guys here within my weekly energy updates to get into cryptocurrencies. And this is only the beginning, guys. So I really want you to understand that when we talk about these, uh, these uh, uh, crypto spiritual energies, we're not talking about woo woo, we're talking about uh, a, a, a collective. A, mom a collective momentum that is actually going on right now and it's much much bigger than people think it is it's not about making money getting the Lamborghini or uh, you know becoming a millionaire overnight it, this is about a whole new paradigm change and uh, you know like the the reason why this is so difficult for us to predict this because it's a grassroots movement at least at this very moment it still is in its infancy and we have not uh, quite yet seen the uh, the, uh, the the full uh, sort of move of uh, smart money as we call it you know the Wall Street money coming in now this is about to change but not next week <laughs> all right this is about to change here in uh, the late spring and early summer and I want you to understand that this is a serious shift that is going through our entire collective through our society there is a word that I used here in the keywords of the description text which is a German word called Aufbruch Aufbruchstimmung some of you know that uh, I'm also a translator and, uh, and within Transcodes that's really what I do I help people to translate, transcode uh, their uh, energetic sensitivity. But there's a reason why I use this word here. This is not because uh, 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 this uh, uh, reminds me uh, of uh, just a word. There's no translation for this in the English. And that is a new momentum that is coming in with uh, a generally positive or optimistic notion to it however also slightly over the top slightly uh, blindish uh, uh, and not realistic with uh, maybe unrealistic expectations so Aufbruchstimmung is something that character characterizes uh, uh, like uh, say the energy in Germany in the 50s and 60s where uh, these emerging new industries uh, were uh, starting to to uh, become 
uh, you know, important again in, in the world economy. And this is something that I'm feeling right now here for the cryptocurrency sphere. Um, and we do have to uh, understand, though, that uh, as long as there is not enough application, as long as we don't really uh, have all these use cases, you know, where we can see the blockchain technology that's uh, underneath cryptocurrencies um, uh, fully applied in our daily lives, okay, which uh, may never fully happen to the degree that we understand that, you know, whenever we make a credit card transaction or whenever we um, buy something uh, online that there's actually a blockchain technology underneath it. Um, uh, but at least, you know, we understand today, even though most people don't know how it works, uh, uh, that internet, for instance, is the technology that's underneath, you know, going uh, online and buying something. So uh, blockchain really uh, is uh, the, uh, sort of a whole paradigm change and uh, you need to understand that this is why people like myself are so enthusiastic and why it's impossible, you know, to shut us up. It is impossible. You've, you've noticed me moving here from, from Facebook Live to YouTube Live. You've noticed that I've uh, created a different channel, a different website, a different um, uh, everything here for the cryptocurrency uh, stuff that I report about simply because uh, we are in the middle of the war on cryptos, you know, where sort of the old power structure tries to prevent um, uh, the, the large um, the majority of people to participate in this uh, uh, paradigm change. And so uh, we've heard, you know, last week that uh, Twitter is going to um, most likely uh, is going to integrate uh, uh, cryptocurrencies as uh, uh, or, or sees cryptocurrencies as as the major world currency in the future while YouTube announced that they're gonna uh, shut down all uh, uh, ICO related or cryptocurrency related ads in June so it's it's very fragmented and very uh, confusing right now for the the great majority of people for the mainstream and that's why uh, we have to wait a little till all this settles. It's just like with the internet, guys. Uh, uh, if you were there, uh, you know, in the late uh, or, or yeah, late eighties, beginning nineties, and uh, listen to those uh, conversations and those discussions that were going on, whether or not the internet is uh, is going to su succeed and what it's what it can do for us as a society. It's it's funny. It's really funny in retrospect. However, um, uh, the collective energies here that uh, come from the report uh, for next week uh, tell me that there are going to be big surprises here for this next week uh, in all directions, positive and negative. So uh, I'm expecting continued volatility and uh, we have to be prepared for something really big. Um, uh, probably uh, the, the even at the end of March, beginning of April, something really big, guys. Okay, so uh, uh, the predictions that are floating around here on YouTube, the bullish predictions that uh, everything is, you know, uh, uh, gonna break out this week and uh, that uh, we're gonna have a bull run. Uh, I'm not expecting this until the second week of April. All right, so uh, I'm not being negative. I'm still in Aufbruchstimmung, but um, I'm also trying to be realistic here, just looking at the the emotional sentiment right now. And uh, that tells me that there's going to be a lot of pump and dump going on next week, simply because the fear of loss is going to be triggered. And what is triggering the fear of loss? News such as, um, you know, the uh, one of the hardware wallets uh, ledger being hacked, for instance, or uh, even stuff like, uh, you know, the uh, confession, you know, that Zuckerberg, uh, the, the CEO of Facebook made that Facebook has allowed the misuse of your personal data, um, which, by the way, um, I'm actually surprised people are surprised. I mean, that was not the kind of surprise that I meant because that's like obvious stuff, okay? We've always known this, but that people are actually beginning to see this now and that there is 
um, a sort of, uh, you know, a realization of how important our personal data is. Those are very, very positive things for me, even though uh, they shatter people's beliefs. And that's why you need to expect uh, the continued volatility here. We are still in the face of the, the sort of last hooray of the old paradigm, the old system, the suppression, the oppression, the repression, and the denial of the existence of new technologies that can actually um, help to uh, uh, circumvent the monopolization and uh, the unequal uh, uh, wealth and power distribution in this world. So uh, uh, some uh, you know, of you may have noticed news uh, in the last week about uh, the comparison between NASDAQ and the cryptocurrency market. And this is actually something that is uh, very true in my view. Um, somebody compared the, the, the charts, the NASDAQ charts with the cryptocurrency charts and said this is the same thing, just five times faster. And here, I really want to remind you, if you are energetically sensitive and an investor, you know, the temporal perception of things is a bit off right now, okay? So um, it, that's why we need to expect surprises, all right? Everything that we know from chart analysis, everything that we know from the past still applies, but in a match a different um, timeline or, t or trajectory as we uh, have experienced this in the past. All right, so get ready, guys, for a very, very fast development here. And uh, this is not financial advice, but um, if you uh, are interested in, in wanting to know, you know, when to be ready to invest or when, yes, uh, the, the something big is about to come, then uh, get ready to make a move, big moves in April. This whole uh, April, May and June looks extremely, extremely promising. So uh, the, the nature of these surprises here, Gerald, that I'm mentioning, is surprise. <laughs> so I know this is not satisfying, really, and I'm not, a, like, a, like I said, I'm not a work with, with the crystal ball, but I can tell you that uh, the uh, collective energies are preparing us to be able to uh, respond uh, in a flexible way, which uh, to me means that... Um, uh, that there is uh, uh, probably something bigger uh, on a geopolitical level that is going to happen that then uh, produces uh, sort of ripples into the financial markets. I'm not really positive about Wall Street right now, guys, for the next couple of months, but I'm very, very positive about the cryptocurrency market. So, um, you know, be ready, be prepared. The chakras affected, uh, the, the energy centers uh, affected this week are the first, second, and third, which always bodes badly, all right? This is fear of loss, this is a pump and dump, and it is unrealistic expectations, the very things that I talked about, as well as the fifth and the sixth, which means to, to the sixth chakra, you know, the third eye, the precognition, the vision, you know, it links you into the future and what you want to see there, but it also reminds you to maintain um, the realism. And the fifth chakra is the one that's um, responsible for expression, but also for truth. So uh, there's a there's a few things here that need to um, be uh, removed out of the way that need to be cleared, okay, mm -hmm. for uh, your vision to become more realistic. So I think. It is safe to say that Aufbruch, you know, this optimistic um, momentum that you feel within is real. But don't go into expectations or um, premature conclusions, all right? Still, you know, stay, um, be, stay very grounded, you know, that's your first chakra. Don't allow your, your greed that uh, may be coming in here by... Uh, the the uh, beginning of next week, don't allow that to get the best of you because the, the emotional sentiment, overall emotional sentiment, 
is still very fickle, which means that even if there is a little bit of a bull run, it's not really going to be stable enough to, like, say, double or triple the market capitalization um, uh, that is about to come, but not just yet, okay? Give this another week or two, all right? And you can still make a lot of money. Those of you who, kn who know how to trade, you know, and ha who, uh, you know, know how to stay uh, safe, who, who know how to navigate through this uh, wild west, you know, which it still is, you know, you can make a lot of money feel into your own intuition but don't fall for your fear or your greed if you can heed that you are pretty well equipped to uh, make money listen to your feeling when to sell all right we, the, the overall recommendation with the cryptocurrency market is to hodl uh, simply because um, you know the, the the majority of people is not really that confident yet with trading and so it's safer to just you know get into the crypto market and stay there and don't move for two years you know and you'll have a guaranteed success but for those of you who want to uh, really work it you need to learn how to sell at the right time okay uh, many of you are good at seeing the opportunity when to buy but the hardest part psychologically and energetically is to, to pinpoint the right time to sell. And maybe we should talk about this next uh, week here. I'd love it if you guys give me um, a few uh, things that you would like to, to be illuminated, that you would like to be uh, or, or like me to talk about um, from an energetic point of view here for next week. Please do this in the... the um, the comment section here and of course you can always ask question questions I would like to close our our crypto spiritual weekly with that and smash the like button if you haven't done this yet all right uh, visit our uh, crypto spiritual Facebook group if you want to stay uh, within the, the the knowing so to speak um, and uh, maybe check out the one minute news letter that I post there uh, which is published by the um, uh, Crypto Telegraph. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Yes, Gerald, I, I agree with you. When to sell is a good idea. It's a good um, subject to cover. And not uh, so much just from a technical standpoint, but uh, from an energetic standpoint. Yes, thank you, guys. Love you and hope to see you next week. Bye-bye, everyone.